welcome to another video from iGadgets Techie and today I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial as to how I've customized my lock screen using the brand new Cydia Tweak called Lock Builder. So first things first, um, once we've got the Lock Builder installed, we just need to go into settings. And if we look in settings here, we now need to go into CJ and just make sure we've got Log Builder iOS 7 selected. So once we've got that selected, if we just come out of that, Log Builder is there. You don't need to touch anything here. What you will need to do, in fact, is in terms of the weather here, uh, it's asking for a zip code or weather code. Now, I've shown a previous video how you can get your weather code. I'll leave a link in the description below and it'll explain to you how you can get your local weather code. And this is what you'll then need to enter in the Log Builder application in settings. So when you unlock the device, this is what you're going to get. So if we then just tap on the arrow here, it's going to take us through a tutorial. Now, I'm not going to bother with that. Obviously, you can choose to watch the tutorial if you like, but I'm just going to skip this here. So here we've got the option to just tap on that at the top um, of the screen. And here we can start customizing our lock screen. So let me just show you how I'm going to do this. So first of all, I'm going to go to weather items. And here I'm going to make sure I've got time enabled by just tapping on time. I've got date enabled by tapping on date. And I've got the temperature enabled by tapping on temperature. So once we've got that, we can go ahead and close it. So here then we've got the time We've got the date and we've got the temperature. Now, we, what we can now do is actually customize this and move it about on the lock screen, depending on where we want to actually have this on our lock screen. So if we tap on it, if we want to enlarge it, we then have to, we then have to with the other finger, just enlarge it. And obviously we can rotate it as well. Done. So let's just set the time over here. Um, the date I'm going to leave over there. And the temperature, again, tap on it and try and enlarge it if we can. It is fiddly, so yeah, managed to do that. And in fact, that might be a bit too big. In fact, I'm going to get rid of the temperature here. So let's just go tap on, tap on the top where the time is. So just above the time, if we just tap on it. We do need to tap on it a few times, actually. Okay, so now let's go into weather items. So we've got that deselected. So that's now gone away. Okay, let's go back into that again. And I'm now going to go on to widgets. Tap on widgets. So here I'm going to choose animated and it's going to then come up with an animation for the weather. Like so. And obviously, this is going to change depending on the current weather conditions. So obviously, it's 10 past 8 in the evening here in the UK. So we've got clouds and we've got a dark moon. So, okay, that's fine. So moving on, just tap on the um, top again to get into our settings. Okay, so here I'm going to go back into widgets. Go back into widgets and here i'm going to choose forecast this time so with forecast it says double press to remove so double press to remove this actual warning so we don't want to remove it just yet we can um, just move it about and just place it wherever we want so i think i'm just going to leave it there and now i'm going to double press it so to get rid of that message so that's now gone away and again let's go back into the settings here and now i'm gonna go into icons so here we can then have the application icons on our lock screen so i'm just gonna have my twitter just tap on that move that there for now <clears throat> my mail just move that there for now 
my Facebook, move that there for now, and my messages, and just move that there for now. So now obviously we can just close this. We do have the option to actually have the winterboard um, icons, for instance, the relevant themes. I'm just going to stick with the stock icons for now. So I'm just going to move it about and try and space it equally apart if I can. That looks okay for now. Just close this. So that looks quite nice, but now I'm just going to do one other thing by just tap again try and get back into the menu so we're in menu again and here I'm just going to go into background and here I'm just going to choose a default wallpaper actually just going to ask me to choose a wallpaper choose files just going to go into a wallpaper here and I'm just going to go with this for now. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, so that's it actually. That's all we need to do. Um, so we've got our lock screen customized here. I'm just going to lock it by tapping on lock. So now it's locked. We do also have the option if we were to go back into menu to actually save this by going into settings. And by tapping on save one naming our lock screen I'll just name it as lock screen one and just close it so that's now saved that particular lock screen settings have now been saved so that's how you set up the lock screen using lock builder for iOS 7 that's all from me for today again thanks for watching this video if you did enjoy the video please do give me a thumbs up please subscribe if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and hope to see you in the next one.